We will be discussing today uh, the obvious, uh, defense and offense, I have to say. But we'll be discussing military. We're also involved in many oil projects and uh, oil development within their country. And I think we've had a very, very good relationship since we started. We're down to uh, a very small number of soldiers in Iraq now. We defeated the ISIS caliphate in Iraq and Syria. And it's uh, — that has been defeated very strongly. And it, it does have a different feeling to it now that you uh, — you've got it. We had it at 98 percent, and we said, well, we can leave. And then everybody said, would you bring it to 100 percent? And we brought it to 100 percent. But the relationship is very good. Uh, we have become friends. We have become, I think, friendly. I think our relationship now is better than ever before. But we have uh, very few soldiers uh, in Iraq. And uh, — but we're there to help. And the Prime Minister knows that we are there to help. We're with some people that also — Mike and Mike, uh, we — and Robert. We very much feel that uh, if Iran should do anything, we will be there to help uh, the Iraqi people. So uh, that's where we are. We're doing big trade deals. We're doing military deals. And we're doing military purchases by them. Uh, where they're spending a lot of money on purchasing equipment, and they're building up their military rapidly. And we like to see that. So thank you very much, Mr. Prime Minister, for being here. I appreciate it. Please. Thank you, Mr. President. I just want to thank you for receiving us in White House today. I'm grateful for all the support offered by the United States to Iraq during the war against ISIS. This support has built our partnership for the best interests for our nation. Mr. President, yesterday we, all, we signed many contracts many contract with American companies, over $10 billion. Iraq is open for American business and investment and for a better future for Iraq and Iraqi people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank very you very much. much. Mr. President, what's your reaction to the indictment of your former campaign aide? Well, I feel very badly. I haven't been dealing with him for a long period of time, as most of the people in this room know. Uh, he was involved in our campaign. He worked for Goldman Sachs. He worked, worked for a lot of companies, but he was involved, likewise, in our campaign and uh, for a small part of the administration very early on. I haven't been dealing with him at all. Uh, I know nothing about the project other than I didn't like — when I read about it, I didn't like it. I said, this is for government. This isn't for private people. And it sounded to me like showboating. And I think I let my opinion be very strongly stated at the time. I didn't like it. It was showboating and maybe looking for funds. But you'll have to see what happens. Uh, I think it's a, a very sad thing for Mr. Bannon. I think it's uh, surprising. But this was something, as you know, just by reading social media and by reading whatever it is. And by speaking to Mike and Mike and all of them, I didn't like that project. I thought that was a project that was being done for showboating reasons. I don't know that he was in charge. I didn't know any of the other people either. But it's uh, it's sad. It's very sad. The question is for Mr. President, President Bannon, 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 Roger Stone, it's Michael Flynn, it's Rick Gates, Paul Manafort, Michael Cohen. What does it say about your judgment that these are the kind of people Well, I have, have no idea. And the culture of lawlessness yeah. Yeah. Uh, around well, no, there was great lawlessness in the Obama administration. They spied on our campaign illegally. Uh, and if you look at all of the things and all of the scandals they had, they had tremendous lawlessness. But I know nothing about it. I was not involved in the project. I have no idea who was. But I can tell you, I didn't know the people, the three people that were talked about were uh, people that I did not know. I don't believe I ever met them. Uh, I don't think that should be a privately financed wall. I don't think it's too complex. It's too big. And we're now up to 300 miles, almost, in another week, week and a half, we'll be up to 300 miles of wall uh, at the highest level. They were even having construction problems. I was reading — the little I know about it, I got from you. Uh, I was reading where they were having construction problems with the wall that they were — they had a small area just to show people that we, they could build a wall. And they were having a lot of problems where it was toppling over and other things. And I didn't like it because I didn't want to be associated with that. We built a very powerful wall. Uh, it was a wall that is vir 